The next topic we'll talk about are the, uh, the new I.O. platform for the compact logics and also the L8 based control logics. This is the new 5069 I.O. This I.O., uh, Rockwell spent about two years doing research with customers like yourselves to decide how to best build this I.O. So I think some of the features you'll actually like in this, this line of I.O., it has an increased temperature range and the biggest deal is it's 27% reduction in your panel space. We know the panel space is getting more and more expensive in, in your boxes, so you can reduce your panel width by about 27%. Has the same high speed backplane that the control logics had. It's actually slightly faster than the current control logics chassis now because of the gigabit Ethernet backplane. Uh, you also get enhanced functions built into the basic modules. For example, you can, you can have high speed counters now in a simple DC input card up to 500 hertz, eight of the 16 channels. So you can get 16 32-bit high-speed counter cards. The actual high-speed module now goes, is down to a 10 millisecond update rate. Uh, the analog modules are universal analog, which means you can do thermocouple, you can do voltage, you can do current and RTD in one card, and it's selectable by channel, so each channel can be different. Uh, the, also, the I.O. cards are a little bit higher performance than they have been in the past. Uh, this is not as big a deal as something like you guys do where it's a more of a process based, but when you're doing high speed motion, having a high speed analog can be a big deal when you're trying to do a motion control application or you're trying to control a web, it may help you somewhat with the tensioning. Rockwell has significantly modified the anatomy of the card. I don't know if anybody's ever done this, but how many of you tried to take a, wire up a 16 channel input card with say 14 gauge wire? You have to come all the way up, turn 90 degrees, and then go into the terminal block. And that's always been a problem with I.O. cards. So starting with these, the, the wires go straight into the front of the module. You can get spring-loaded or, or screw down, your choice. And probably one of the best things that was really as, asked by the customers, the LED is now by the wire screw terminal or, or spring-load terminal. So in the past, you had a big set of LEDs at the top. And then you would have to go, okay, count five over and count six down. Oh, wait a minute, I can't, it's not that wire. It's, there's a couple of com, you know, com spots and we've got to go down to the actual input. So now when the LED turns on, the wire next to it is the one that's supposed to be doing it. So it makes commissioning much, much faster. So you can just look down and say, oh, that's the loose wire, as opposed to trying to count down and hope you got it right. They're, they're also removable terminal blocks just like they were in the past. One not, slight difference, like the control logics, you do have to buy the removable terminal block separately from the I.O. card. Just, just be aware of that because sometimes those get left off the bill of materials.